Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Well, last episode at the end of it I showed you what happens when it goes wrong. Well, that's quite common, you've seen that quite a few times. But you might have noticed that the tinted glass didn't break. And also I didn't die, but that was because of the shield that I'm wearing at the moment. So what we're going to do today is finish off Draconic Evolution because we've basically finished it and start some more mechanism. So let's get started. So I want a quick look around the base because I have done a few changes. Here I've basically put in uh, the power pot for, with Nether Star. Oh, yeah, Nether Star's in here. Um, and here we've put in so, a power pot with Awakened Draconium. So those are basically coming down here, feeding this with actually it's feeding it with the draconium seeds because and the rest of it's coming into here. And as you can see, these are going out underneath here. I've put a an importer and here is a cable. I'll show you that quickly. There's the importer just down here for the yes, we've got an import here. No 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 rules on it, it'll import everything that comes out. Um which is fine as it happens. Up onto my thing, so I've got something in the wrong place. Yes, that end up actually needs to be over here. So, um, what you can do with these actually, you can upgrade these in place. I'll show you how to do that. Let's just um, break this now. Be careful with it, don't want to break too much. And so you see the importer there, and it will actually start these things will start to feed up with with, with items as, they, as, as time goes on. Not yet. Oh, yes, now we've got some. And so what we can now do with this, if we actually look at the uses of this, the uh, Crafter Mark 2, you can click it in like this. And it's going to complain because it hasn't got this one in, but we can put this one in the middle here, and then we should get a Crafter Mark Tier 3. Now we can go put this one down, back in the same place as it was, like that. And you see this, it's got X recipes, but it kept the original recipes in here, as you can see. Um, so that's fine. All that you need to do now is put back on the uh, end of the gate, and so we've got to, so it's got power again. So the power should be full. I did also do find another mistake with my build. I was very doing very well with that particular build with the uh, reactor. I basically upped this now, so I've upped it to. I saw I was watching a video, and it says five three seven is a magic number. I'm not sure whether it is or not because. I think things have changed since the last time here. This one is set to 300,000, which we had before, and this one's set to 2220. So if you look at the reactor now, it's producing 530, but it's, it goes up and down. Now don't ask me why, I'm not 100% sure why it slowly goes up and then drops down by an amount. What I'd also made is that I made a mistake on one of these, and this was actually going out. I don't even know if you need four. Maybe I test that at some stage. And th these are all going out, and these are all coming in. But one of them was going out. Didn't help very much. And this one here, I've changed to have a minus priority because I found it was using all the power in here rather than the power from the reactor. So this, you can see, this is basically got. It's using eleven thousand extra, so the reactor's not quite producing enough for what I need. It's eleven thousand too short. So we can possibly upgrade up. A bit, but I'll test that before I do that. This um, is actually got tons of power in it. It's full. <laughs> the the core. I'll maybe react, do a react, upgrade on that as well. So, what I'd also like to make first of all, is I'd like to make some speed upgrades for the armor. I've basically got all the recipes in here that I want to do. Um, we've got these. Chaotic Undye modules, which we probably do, but I'd quite like to do some Chaotic Speed modules, and I'd like to do eight. So let's do. Let's start those crafting while I'm doing this. Speed module. Let's craft eight of these. Let's start that. And then you can see how many resources you actually do need. So there's 120 of these potions of swiftness. Sugar, we need 40 of those. Uh, nuggets. Well, you can see what we need. I don't need to go through all of those different bits, but we do need a few of these, which we need to go and craft manually. There's a few manuals, so let's start that. So what we'll find is that some of the manual bits are going to come out into this chest here, as you can see. This will be for the... Um, this is for the dr draconic... Um, draconic cores. So let's have a look at the recipe for... Recipe for these. Oh, it must be 
we need eight. So we need to split this into eight, which is actually not so easy. You have to move everything out. That's nine. It'll be eight. And I've got that wrong, haven't I? We need four of these in each one, so I need eight. Yes, exactly. Oh. Okay, so we can then take these four here. We can do the same with the awakened draconium here, like this. And then we simply put those into these uh, inje crafting injectors. Let's start up here. And these will happen very quickly, uh, almost instantaneous, not quite. But it'll, so we're getting these draconicals. Right, I'll let that process. And while that's processing, let's have a quick look at what else is coming in through here, if anything. I've got nothing at the moment. So it's waiting for the draconic course here, scheduled. So it's already processing these. Oh, I didn't actually check how much draconium we needed for this, but there was be plenty. <laughs> So this is probably almost finished now for tell you what, be back in a second when they're finished. So as you can see these are finished, let's just take these out of here. And put those in back into the ender pouch, and then they will go automatically through. My base at the moment is not very well automated, I'm going to be dead honest. <laughs> so they might be done. In fact, over here we should have some materials ready to start doing some crafting. Oh we have yes, look. We need 40 of these. So, Fairly obviously, these do not always go into the right place. I might not have enough bottles. I have to make some glass bottles just in case. So they're going to come along here. They're going to get processed. So let's turn this back on again and then it starts processing these out. How many have we got? 39 of those done. So it's going to be making some potions of swiftness, which is fine. Um, what else do we need to do? I think that's probably all of the base changes that I've done between episodes was basically putting these up here and changing the priority and that and fixing the one of those orbs. I don't know what they're called to be honest with you. It does have a name, but there is one more thing we haven't made and that's the mob grinder or the mob crusher. So this is the mob grinder from um, Draconic Evolution. So you've got, it's just four iron, one draconium. It's actually not too expensive this one, fairly early game thing here. So we can then put this down and we could actually go and put this into place and I don't haven't used this for a very long time I'm not sure if it needs power or whatever so let's just put it down say here I want my pick that's got a uh, silk touch on it like that so if I put this down on this pipe here I'm not sure which way it faces Hmm. Tell you what, I'll put it down first of all like this, and then we'll have a look at it. Oh, that looks like it's facing me, doesn't it? Ah, oh, yes, so it does need power, as and of course it's going to match all entity filter, all groups. And then, yeah, that's just for taking, that's the area of effect. And you can increase that. Okay, so and we're going to have to put this down from the other direction, like this. And it wants to be in the middle, probably where this mob crusher is here. So let's break the mob crusher. Pick up the bits, press C. And then I could put this uh, tinted glass down here. Fill it up. So this is actually a... I'm not sure how big this is, but I'll just turn it off. I have to come around here and turn off all the fans, of course. Otherwise I get pushed about. In fact, those are the only fans I think I need to do. This one's out of range. But what I probably should do is just turn off the grinder as well. It does hurt, even with the armour I've got on at the moment. So let's just turn the office down here. So as you see, that's no longer running. So let's put the crusher in here. Grinder in here on top of that there. So there we go. Get out of the way now. Close the door up. Might as well put these fans on again. And just check this, see what we're actually doing in here. So it has got no power, which is fine, because the other one didn't have. So let's 
put this on here and as you can see it's now spinning as it's getting power which is great um area of effect can we do is max seven okay max is seven it's not as big as i need it i wonder if you can increase the area in some way or, or other no nope, not very good okay it doesn't matter we let it do its business and um, turn on the mobs again just turn on the mobs we just basically just leave it here so they should spawn some more uh, oh, it doesn't look like they are spawning. That's oh yes they are. Gosh, tell you, it made me jump. I tell you, <laughs> I tell you that for nothing. <laughs> I'll turn this back on because he's obviously not going to grind the ones in the corner. Right, I'll leave that now. So this should actually get items in here. Uh, does it get items in? Collect XP, collect items, claim XP stored. Well, I don't. See where it's putting the items. Well, maybe the items are getting. No, they can't be getting taken out of here, can they? Oh, maybe they're just getting picked up in here again. We'll have a look in a second whether they spawn the next batch. I probably don't need too many more with the skeleton skulls, as you can see. There we go. Yes, the items are coming out here, not into here. Interesting. And maybe I just need to large view. Okay. Okay, we'll leave that running. Let's see what happens. That's right, guys. Okay, so next thing is mechanism. My mechanism stuff's all over here. And it, it's not very good, I've got to be honest with you. It was just done to do bits and pieces. But I have put in some upgrades into here. So I've got eight speed upgrades and eight efficiency upgrades, which energy efficiency upgrades for these three particular machines that I would like to upgrade these machines now uh, to the next two levels, I think. So this will be the ultimate machine. So let's have a look at this. Um, crafting tables, I wanted the recipe of crafting tables. Let's get rid of Draconium Evolution now, because I'm not going to do too much more with that. But I do have to go and mess around with some bits and pieces. So ultimate, ultimate smelting factory, which we probably don't, well, maybe we do need this actually. So what I need are these ultimate control circuits. Let's do the crusher first of all. The ultimate enriching factory. Let's look at that one. So this will be an elite enriching, enriching family, which will, which will be this one. So we need to make some elite control circuits and some reinforced alloy. Reinforced alloy. So that's the advance. We also need to make these. I don't think I've got the recipes for those set up yet. So let's set those up now. I have got a little earth. Uh, I think it's the gold one. No, it's, it's the diamond. No, that's not the diamond one. It's the netherite one here. So I have got a few bits and pieces to, to, to automation of uh, mechanism. I think I had some more. Uh, but maybe they're in a different place. Let's have a look in here. Can I see mechanism? At mechanism. Does that work in here? Yes, it does. So I can make all of these things. And these patterns are actually going out. The other ones we can make ourselves. So let's have a look at the patterns for this one. We, so we need to ultimate. It doesn't really matter which one we love to start with. So we need these ultimate control circuits. Let's make add a recipe for that. So that requires a atom, atomic alloy, which I've already got a recipe for. Let's take that one out here. And then we also need a recipe for the elite control circuits. So, so we can get one of those. And then we need one for the advanced circuits which we can do like this and i th think we need one for the basic control circuits but i might have that already set up but just in case this doesn't do any harm we can always reuse the rest of oops that press there ah okay yeah, it's a processing recipe so therefore i probably have got one set up before we create that recipe let's just check in here uh, at mechanism again No, I don't have a basic control circuit right set up. Right, okay, so we'll set this one up. So the processing recipes go into here. This we will fix probably next episode. So this is the basic control circuit goes into here. Uh, you'll see I've actually I could move that around a bit. Keep it looking in, in the order. And then we can put the other three into the netherite one down here. So 
So we'll start with the advanced, then the elite, and then this one here. So what we can now do is simply pick up the machine we have here, and then we should be able to up, upgrade this particular machine. So let's just break it. And that, that'll have gone straight into my hotbar. And then we can upgrade this machine. So let's just come along here and type for the uses of this machine. But maybe I've got a more sensible thing to do. I've got a few recipes which are never going to be made again. Um, for example, we're never going to be making... Let's have a look. We're not going to be making another reactor core. So I can take this one out. I can also do the stabilizers and the wiring core here. Um, I th think that's all we probably need to remove from in here. Is there anything else? No, the rest are fine. So we can reuse these recipes. So let's do that. Doesn't matter which one we use. We can you can see what's going through here. The processing recipe. So let's have a look at the uses of the uh, basic crushing factory, and then we can click these into place like that, and then update this recipe. And then we could probably do the uses of the advanced one as well. And that'll make the elite. And then we can, oh, actually, uh, yeah, let's do it this way. And then again, the uses of the elite will make the ultimate. Very straightforward, nothing complicated. Let's put the next one of these for the next set of machines. And then we can put these into, they're all crafting recipes, aren't they? So let's put them in here. And let's ask the system to craft those up. I'm just wondering if I needed to, do, and maybe I've got an exact mode on in this one. Let's just check this. Something I didn't check. Let's just remove this one. You can actually you can actually clear these away if you if you clear the recipe off here like this. Take one of them out and then just put it back in here. Next time it'll reuse this particular recipe you've got. Um, you can't click this obviously but uh, it doesn't matter too much so we want the ultimate factory let's put this one in here exact so it isn't exact so that should work but it, there isn't doesn't seem to be N, nbt stuff that's coming through so it's fine put that back again so we've got advanced elite and i usually do them the other direction so let's see if we can craft this one up here it'll probably complain about it so ultimate so we can do the ultimate crushing factory let's start with one of those and it's missing one of these so if i put the one that i've got already in the system like this and then try that again let's see if it actually works it doesn't work I'll tell you what we'll do we'll make, we'll come along here and we'll take out the um, crushing factory out of here And let's change it. So, so we want the advanced crushing factory to start with. Did I do the advanced? I hope I did last time. And I'll tell you what, I'm not even sure if I did. Let's just put it back in again. Just check out the advanced one. Or did I do the uses? Oh, forgotten already. That's dreadful. Okay, can we craft one of these? No, no, it's still missing one of these. So we'll have, we'll have to modify the recipe in that case to, to work around this, because it, in a way it should should sort of work. But let's just modify this recipe here. Wrong place. That's the ultimate crushing factory. That's the elite crushing factory, and I got them in the wrong order. Typical. That's why I do it the other direction normally. Don't have to think. <laughs> Which is always a good thing not to have to do. So let's just take this out of here. And then click that. Ah, but it does want it. Let's just update this. Does it work? Let's see if this actually works. Because I'm not even sure if it does or not. Because I probably haven't tested this. What would be the other way to do this is to just simply um, 
Can we do this one now? Advanced crushing factory. Oh, it's still here, so maybe we can start. Oh no, it still wants this stuff. So it didn't let me update the recipe. Okay. That's a nuisance as it happens. So then I've got to maybe it's because I've got upgrades in this, I'm not hundred percent sure. It but whatever the case is, it's a pain. <laughs> so I'll better get the bits made up. So let's do that. Um Oh, let's clear this off. So we got that basic crushing factory and the recipe for this. It's not what I want to do this, but then again, you're only doing this once or twice. Um, let's click that into place. Oh, that was the basic crushing factory. I want the advanced one, don't I? Maybe I can just do it. Oh, maybe that's the way to do it. That's probably that is the way to do it. Advanced crushing factory, basic crushing factory. Okay. Let's say, ask for the uses of this and then craft that into position. Now we should get everything that we need good. So we can then put this into here and then we get the advanced crushing factory. So the uses of this one I have is to prepare this one and we haven't got enough elite control circuits. So let's make some elite control circuits. We need two for each of these machines. We've got four machines to do so we need another seven of these. So let's just craft up seven of these. And it's control shift click to do that. Okay, so now we can just take, and if you do control and roll, um, scroll, it puts it into your hand so with your mouse button. So then we can put the advanced crushing factory into here. So now we get the elite, and then we can do the same thing again. The uses of this one, we can make the ultimate. And I'm not, I'm missing the ultimate ones, which are these. Let's craft, um, I said we need seven, so we probably need to have eight for four machines to start that. And I've got everything available, so that's not going to take very long at all. So let's put this into here. And then where is the elite? Oh, oh yes, I need these, don't I? So now I've got an ultimate crushing factory. So let's go and put this down again. I'm not going to do any more of these on camera, so to speak. So there we are. And you'll notice here we've got one, two, actually nine slots. We didn't have so many nine slots. I thought it was seven slots before. But this is going to require quite a lot of power. And I don't think these are going to keep up with the power requirements anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of this over to here. Here I've got some stuff and I really probably don't need it. This is the brewing. I do need the brewing set up because that's we well, still have to manually go and brew stuff. Oh, by the way, I've probably got some more stuff to make. No, oh, I haven't actually. What's going on in here? Did I not put the draconium? Oh, I did do that. What's going on there? Tell you what. Have a quick analyze of this problem. What's going on? What's it not done? Oh, of course, it's not got the all the, the bottles. So this is stuck. Um, they should cycle every 240 seconds. That's correct. Am I missing a no? I'm not missing a dust on this one. If it doesn't cycle in a second, then I'll start it again and see what's going wrong. Oh, is that on? Ah, that's wrong. And this needs to be off. Otherwise, the timer doesn't run. If the timer's not running, then this won't tick through, so nothing will actually happen. So let's have a look. In a few seconds, this should flash. Um, there we go. And then the bottles will have emptied out, and it carries on again. Oh dear, that wasn't very clever. So this should be carrying on now, so we should see, yes, we're seeing schedules items coming through here. Is there anything else? No, everything else is finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the um, these machines into, well, all, I suppose I can do it on these, actually, these cables. The basic cables are probably not very good. Probably don't produce enough power, but they might do. 
So let's just take uh, one of the connectors from here. We can actually do this directly onto the mechanism ones from here. Don't forget that the reactor network is actually full. What I would like to do is actually build a reactor from mechanism. That's probably the next project goal here like this. And you'll see this is automatically starting things up. And I probably don't need these anymore. Biogenerators, plenty of biofuel in here. And there's plenty of fuel in here too. So it, it does start to charge things up, as you can hear. I'm not sure what's charging up. And that's fully charged, good. And this will have this will be able to provide enough power to run these machines. So obviously the next one of those would be to do would be to do this one here. This has also got a speed upgrade in it and the rest of it. Uh, I said I was going to do this on camera, so I probably won't. But we'll just set, let's see, because it had a lot of difficulty last time. Let's have a look at the use of the basic enriching factory. And it's missing the um, these, so we need six of these. Let's get six crafting in here. At least six, anyway. I should probably set up a recipe. We've got plenty of basic control circuits. So let's now, let's now use, do this one. Yeah, that's much easier to do than trying to do it through recipes, isn't it? So now we've got the advanced, and then the uses of the advanced, we should be able to make these up. Again, it's missing these, so we'll need four of these, I think. Uh, we probably need eight, because I think four are going to be used for to make the um, advanced, uh, the, the ultimate control circuit. So let's craft up these. Okay, that's no problem. So let's just do. You can also use shift and scroll those down, and they go into your, well, actually into your own inventory. So that's quite handy. I didn't. So we now got the elite, and look at the elite, and have a look at the uses of that one. We should be able to do this one. What did it do with my elite factory, uh, crushing back enrichment factories here? Let's put that back down in here. So we now have the ultimate one of these as well. Fairly straightforward, not, not as difficult as I first thought. So just before I go today, let's have a look at this. I did the speed upgrade, didn't I? So get, check those out again. Um, we've got eight of these chaotic um, speed upgrade modules, which are great. Let's take those out. And let's put those into the into the bow. So oh, one for my bow is here. I also, oh, I've done those, no, no, speed modules of these. Let's click these out. The difference is significant. So this one is speed plus 50. This one's speed plus 150. And the accuracy is minus one. I don't know whether it changed that or not. Um, What's interesting about let's put those away into this. So the next I want to make another eight another eight of these. So let's just do that again. Craft another eight. Get these started. I'm not sure if they've got enough materials or not. We'll soon find out. Start those. Because actually then it's only got to craft four. We have. Good. So I'll let that do its business while that's doing that. And then we'll go and have a look at what this effect has on terms of um grinding something. And I'm going to grind the wither again. And I found a couple of tricks with the wither. It's, being, it's a bit annoying at the moment because it's raining. But have I got any? Oh, I don't have. Yes, I do have some wither skeleton skulls. I should have got some soul sand here as well. Let's put that into there. And I should have some wither skeleton skulls in the backpack here. If I haven't, I'll go and get them and come back in a second. Well, it's just finished raining. So what I do here is I basically got this clock that stops by this so what we can do is we can press the button here that will send out one signal and that will actually then um finish off the wither that's half built here so let's do that and also turn on the clock here and you'll start to produce more so one thing we can do with this we can put the bow in our offhand here like this and put the the sword in our 
in a in our main hand. As, and you'll notice that the um, <laughs> you'll notice it killed the the wither without me even having to hit the wither with the sword. But I also got some supremo essence, as you can also see. Right, just to prove, let's turn that off again. There should be there should be one more spawning in the next, and that's just done three, so that's fine. And you'll see that it's actually sometimes the arrows go through. Like that. Sometimes the arrows actually go through here. That's why I put up this. Uh, I don't think any reached here. Otherwise, they'd be sticking in the glass. Or if they did, then they'd be going through here. But just for safety's sake, we know that this glass is pretty good <laughs> from last time. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.